Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. Just do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification because when I upload videos like this to help you out, you'll be the first to be notified. If you're watching on Facebook, thank you very much. You always appreciate a growing audience even bigger. Please hit the like button down below and if you find this information valuable, please share with a friend. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and if you want to schedule me for a 15 minute free consultation to see how I could help you, Please follow the link down below, go to my website, book a consultation in the upper right hand corner, and let's chat for about 15 minutes. See if I can help you out. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. This short video, I'm gonna talk about the relationship between zinc and thyroid health. Now your thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped gl gland in the base of your neck and it makes thyroid hormone. It makes inactive T4 and a little bit of active T3. It makes 93% inactive T4 and 7% active T3 and the thyroid hormone gets travels to the bloodstream and the most of the conversion from inactive T4 to T3 occurs in the liver a little bit occurs in the gut and also to the target tissue. But the main thing you want to talk, you want to note is inactive T4, there's a conversion that goes to active T3. Now, the main nutrients that are needed for thyroid hormone to be produced in the nape of your neck is, one is iodine. Iodine is very important because iodine and tyrosine together make thyroid hormone. Selenium. Selenium is needed for liver health, for the production of glutathione, but also selenium is needed for the conversion of inactive T4 to active T3. Copper is very important to help with the production of thyroid hormone. And zinc. Zinc is, is very important mineral needed because it also assists in making the T, inactive T4 to active T3. Also, it's responsible for the brain, the signal to the hypothalamus, to the pituitary gland, from the pituitary gland to the thyroid gland in of itself to say, hey, we need to, to produce more thyroid hormone. So zinc is very, very important. Now, a lot of cases, hypothyroid is caused by zinc deficiency. And this is where when you get blood work done and you have hypothyroid symptoms, but this is where your blood labs are normal, when it, even in a full thyroid panel. So, the deficiency of zinc, these are some of the symptoms. Hair loss, diarrhea, men, impotence. Could be zinc deficiency. Eye and skin issues, again, dry, dry skin, again, poor eyesight, decreased immunity, you're always getting sick, and poor night vision. Now, what's going to cause it? Again, first and foremost, always poor diet. Poor diet is the number one reason for any type of deficiency that you may have. Uh, so, one of the things I'm always focusing is on the diet. Next, again, inadequate absorption. If you have poor gut health, you're not absorbing all these minerals. Now, the one thing for certain, foods like cereals, corn, and rice, they all contain phytates. Now, again, what phytates are, what does, it blocks the absorption of zinc. This is why when you see cereals, they always say fortified with zinc. They have to add the zinc on there because, again, it's blocking the absorption in your gut. Now, first and foremost, so what do you do about it? First and foremost, I always say attack the diet. You want to clean up the diet. You want to focus on the diet and the gut health, okay? But foods that are loaded in zinc, shellfish, like oysters, meat, grass-fed, grass-fed meat, grass-fed chicken, uh, wild-caught fish, beans, nuts, almonds, and cashews are loaded in zinc. However, again, if you have a hard time with the absorption getting through your foods, I always recommend zinc sulfate as a supplement 30 milligrams daily to help boost the, the zinc levels. And if you are deficient in zinc due to your diet, yes, you're gonna, you're gonna feel it almost immediately. But first and foremost, again, what I'm always focusing is on diet first because your hypothyroid could be the cause of zinc deficiency if your blood labs are normal. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. If you found this information valuable, please share with a friend. If you have any, any suggestions on a video you want me to do, please leave them in the comment sections down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Thank you.